Hey, what's up guys, Kyle Watts here. So I bought this camera about two months ago and I've, I've definitely came to the conclusion that there's basically two flaws with this camera. Two major flaws that I think are both fixable. Uh, one is to start with, the, the lens could be a little bit wider. I know it starts at about 24 and it, it'd be cool if it was like a 16. Well, there are some wide angle lenses out there now you can get for this camera. So that's one problem that's solved, which pretty much just leaves the fact that if you're wearing polarized sunglasses like these, you can't see the screen. And that's a big problem because a lot of sunglasses nowadays are being made as polarized sunglasses. So when you turn this thing on and put it up to your face, the screen kind of becomes black and you can't see hardly anything. And that's to do with how they built the screen and how the polarization works in your sunglasses. So what ended up happening is that I've had a couple of RX100s in the past and I uh, went to go see if the screen protector from this camera would fit on the screen of the Sony ZV-1. Just an FYI, it basically does. It's just a tiny bit different size. Uh, so I put it on there temporary just, you know, as a screen protector and I went outside and sure enough, all of a sudden I could see the screen. So immediately I realized that there's something that's in these screen protectors that makes the camera change, like depolarizes the, the screen on the camera. So I took it off and I ordered a new set. Uh, I haven't put it on yet. This is the set that I bought and uh, I will put a link in the description down below. I'm sure there's other brands that'll work just the same, but uh, this little $7 purchase is basically saving this camera for me because like when you're out and about and you're wearing sunglasses, like you, you need, you want to be able to see the screen. And if you, if you can't see the screen, that kind of makes it a bad camera, I think, or makes it pointless to have a flip screen. And you don't want to have to keep taking your glasses off to keep checking your framing or focus, whatever. A $7 purchase is basically going to just fix this one problem on this camera. So let's get this camera over here. Well, I'll, I'll kind of give you a demonstration. We'll fill the sunglasses over my camera lens. Hopefully that works to showcase this, but, uh, if this is this easy of a fix guys, like this is going to salvage this camera for me completely. So let's check this out. Here's the Sony ZV-1. It's probably going to look a little goofy on here, but basically what I got is this single, this product right here. Uh, I got it on Amazon for about $7 and I believe it's a two pack. So all we got to do is open it up here and take out the single element which, uh, you know, at first is going to have a couple uh, pieces of plastic covering the, the glass. So obviously you'll peel that off, but let's just kind of give you an idea what it's doing here. So you get your sunglasses on and as you can see, it basically, if I get this to stay, <laughs> it basically is blocking out your screen. You can see in the background, the Apple computer is working just fine. But the second you put this plastic, the screen protector in front of the lens, it works fine. As you can see, it's it's working just, you're seeing maybe a little bit of a rainbowing going on, but that's just because I'm filming it through a camera. But uh, this is exactly what it does on camera when you're looking at it through these sunglasses. It just makes it so you can see the screen. And the best part is once you get this all attached, uh, it still folds up, it folds into the camera, your touch operations still work. Everything's fine and you're, you're protecting your screen, so take these off so yeah easy fix seven dollars go get this product and you will fix the issue with polarization on your sony zv1 all right guys that's gonna be it for me today uh be sure to hit up the link in the description pick one of these up for yourself it makes this camera super usable uh if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments down below and hey while you're down there please hit the like button subscribe to the channel uh, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future gear reviews, film tutorials, vlogs, anything else that I might put up. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.